This is going to be a quick review on this Senran Mew knife that I just bought. A quick disclaimer, I'm not really a knife expert, so don't rely on me as being sort of a know-it-all on this stuff, but I will tell you what I like and don't like about it. I wanted something good for sort of small survival kits uh, that was compact yet fairly useful. I have large hands, so I'll warn you, the size of this knife may be uh, deceptive. I would describe this as a small, full-size knife. What I mean by full-size is that your four fingers grip it. Notice my pinky actually sticks off the end here a little bit. Uh, I think most people with normal size hands that won't be true, uh, but for me it does stick off a little bit. It doesn't bother me all that much. Uh, it's got This knife has sort of a nice weight to it, a good feel, some uh, jimping on the top so you've got nice grip area. The scales on the outside are very grippy. This uh, G10 uh, design with the cross hatch has a lot of grip to it, especially when I first uh, first opened it up. Since I've owned it for the month or so, uh, I think it's gotten a little bit smoother just from uh, from use. But uh, don't be surprised that this is a very grippy sort of surface. This knife is not just a knife; it has a bunch of extra features on it, a bunch of extra tools. Uh, it has here a belt cutter or rope cutter. Uh, seems reasonably sharp. It could be better. Uh, I haven't sharpened it or the main blade. Uh, the main blade's nice and sharp. This one I would say is so-so. Uh, there's no lock on these, by the way. That helps keep the nice knife, knife nice and skinny. Uh, the other tool on the other side is a combination uh, can opener, uh, but you can use this as a bottle opener also. I'll show that later in the video. And then finally, the big thing that I really wanted was the glass breaking tip, uh, the carbide metal tip for uh, breaking glass. You can also etch glass uh, if you need to with this. This is a flipper design knife. You poke the button here and it pops out quite nicely, almost as if it's a spring assisted design. Works very smoothly, very evenly. Uh, the knife has absolutely no play when it's open. There's no, no shake. Uh, it has a liner lock here to keep it locked open. Uh, it's nicely centered, the uh, blade inside the uh, body. Uh, it's nice and sharp. You can shave, for instance, hairs off your uh, body if you want to. Uh, it also cuts paper quite nicely. It's reasonably sharp. I wouldn't say it's super sharp. But uh, it'll rip up paper nice, nicely. Uh, the extra tools seem to work pretty well. Uh, this will cut paracord quite nicely. Some of its extra tools. First, the rope cutter. I'm going to remove my quick release bracelet to get some quick, easy access paracord. And we're going to cut off one inch from its length. And other than opening it and closing it a bit like that, uh, maybe for a few minutes, I've done no processing or oiling or sharpening of the knife at all. Uh, I would give this a knife on a scale of 1 to 10, probably an 8, maybe even a 9, considering its price. Uh, I would highly recommend this if you're looking for a small, compact knife. It also has a nice belt clip on the on the back here. It's a little bit small. If you have a f very large uh, belt, very wide belt, it may not even make it all the way to the bottom. There's no lanyard hole on this knife. Uh, but I, I'm very impressed with it, so I recommend it highly. Anyway, let's uh, test out some of these extra tools, see, see how they work. So my friend brags that he can use these can openers just as well as bottle openers and that he can open any bottle with a plum. Let's see how well I do.
Well, it kind of worked. I wonder if it would work with things other than a plum. I bought this uh, safety belt material specifically for testing these belt cutters. This one seems good. I wouldn't say it's great, but with some effort, you can get through a belt. Better ones don't need any sawing action. And without tension, you're dead in the water. There's no way you're going to cut through a belt material unless you can keep it taut. Let's see how the big blade works. That works even better. I suppose in theory you could uh, sharpen this with a uh, conical uh, cylindrical uh, diamond file sort of thing you would use for a serrated blade sharpening. I don't have any auto glass, so I'll have to make do with what I have on hand. Don't forget what the crazy Russian hacker says, safety should be your number one priority. It works. Now I'm going to attempt to score this glass using this. Just going to do a sloppy straight one down the middle. I don't know if you can see it, but uh, there's a curved one running down the length there. It's hard to imagine that that's going to break at that point, but. Since I have my safety glasses on, let's see. Wow. It almost worked. There's actually part of the curve there that it didn't work on. that diagonally. Hard to believe, but it does seem to work. Now let's just break the glass. Pretty tough stuff. Auto glass should be expected to be tougher, so you may have to really hammer it in. Oh, one final test. How about making a circle? I kind of doubt this is going to stay within that circle, but in theory, there's a circle running in the middle here. Here it goes. Well, I got part of it. So in the movies, they break beer bottles and use them as knives in beer fights, in uh, bar fights. As far as I can tell, it's not sharp at all. I mean, other than the fact that broken glass is sharp. You know, if you happen to have a pointy part, I suppose you could hurt somebody by poking that, but that's just going to break off pretty darn easily, even if they were just wearing any clothing at all. So don't expect to use these as good knives. 
Another nice feature it has is that the glass brake tip can be removed with a wrench or with a strong pair of pliers. You get it started, you can unscrew it. Makes it about three to four millimeters shorter in length. And that may not seem like much, but it's enough to make it short enough to fit in a uh, survival tin such as this uh, Altoids tin.